Today I'm going to talk about how to do a simple bar graph using Google Sheets. What you should know is that each of these columns are going to represent each of your bars. So the first thing you want to do is decide what the name of each bar is. What is it that you were measuring? So if I were graphing eye color in students, I would title each bar with an eye color. Row two is going to be how large each bar should be. So what was the data for each of these measurements? So this, in this case, it would be number of students. When all of my data is in, I highlight all of the cells that I used, and then I come over here to my insert chart button. Google should recognize that this is all bar graph data, but if for some reason it doesn't, just come over to this option and choose your column chart. Then you can click customize. The first part of this menu will allow you to change the background color and the font. It will also allow you to make this three-dimensional or keep it two-dimensional, whatever you prefer. For chart and axis titles, I always recommend, it, it defaults to chart title, I always recommend starting with the axis titles. So my horizontal axis is going to be my x-axis, and the title I want to give it is what data is represented on it. So these are my eye colors. If this data is something that you measured, in parentheses, you want to put the unit that you use. In this case, I don't need to do that because eye color doesn't have a unit. Now I can switch this to vertical axis, and that's going to be my y-axis. And again, if there's a unit that you used, if you were measuring, in parentheses, you would put the unit. In this case, I don't have a unit, so I'm going to leave that blank. Now, I can come to chart title. When I'm making a title for my graph, I have to represent the information that's on the x -axis, y axis and the information that's on the x axis. For this data, I was also graphing just eighth grade students. So, um, actually, let me change this. I color of eighth grade students. So now in this title, I've represented my x-axis, I've represented my y-axis, and I've given a little bit more information by including that these were eighth graders. And down here, I can change the formatting, the font, the format, the color, and the size of that text. Under series, this is where you can change the color of your bars if you choose to. This is a simple bar graph, so there is no legend, so I don't need to use that. Under horizontal axis, I can, again, change the formatting of my x-axis font. Under vertical axis, I can change the formatting of my y-axis font. And grid lines, I'm not going to play with. Grid lines are these lines that show up in the background, and I'm happy with how these are represented. So at this point, I'm done with my graph. And I can come over here, I can copy my chart, and I can go to whichever document I need to paste it into, and I can paste it. Now this is going to offer me the option to either link it or unlink it. I always recommend linking because if I come back here and I decide I want to update this, Now I can come back here and you'll see a little update button has popped up. And when I click it, it will automatically update it. And it will only do that if you've linked the spreadsheet. And that is making a simple bar graph using Google Sheets.